Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 255. Cardiac and Vascular Function Curves. Describe the picture here that you see on page 255 describing the cardiac and the vascular function curve. On this picture, you see on the y-axis the cardiac output or the venous return, and on the x-axis you see the right atrial pressure or the end diastolic volume. The red curves indicate blood volume and the green curve indicates ionotropy. What does the number 1 represent in this picture? In this picture, number 1 represents the operating point of the heart, where the cardiac output and the venous return are equal. What does the number 2 represent in this picture? Number 2 in this picture represents decrease in the total peripheral resistance. This happens in exercise and an AV shunt, and this results in positive ionotropy as well as increase in blood volume. In this, there's also a higher cardiac output as well as a higher end diastolic volume. What does number 3 represent in this picture? Number 3 represents increase in the total peripheral resistance, and this happens due to hemorrhage before compensation can occur, which shows a decrease in the blood volume, decrease in ionotropy, there's a decrease in the cardiac output, as well as a decrease in the end diastolic volume. What does number 4 represent in this picture? Number 4 represents a heart failure or a narcotic overdose because in this, there is a decrease in ionotropy. This leads to a decrease in cardiac output, but the venous return is normal as well as the end diastolic volume is normal. What does number 5 represent in this picture? Number 5 represents the x-intercept of the venous return curve, which is the mean systemic filling pressure. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.